So hey guys, man, has this been a little while since I've posted. We've had bad weather, cold temperatures, but lo and behold, here we are at the end of January and we've got a nice gift today. Can you believe it's like 70 degrees, almost 70 degrees. Out. We're doing more than just an oil change. Check this out, I'll show you what I'm doing today. off doing an oil change I've actually already kind of jumped in the middle of this you guys have seen I've done quite a few videos videos on this um, I'll include one of my most recent ones and the end screens if you want to check out in detail the Z950 they've done a really nice job and doing an oil change on this one is pretty easy but just a real recap uh, man I can't talk today a real fast recap um, I've already got the oil changed. The first thing I did is I ran the engine and got some heat in the oil. Uh, again, that does a couple of things. It thins the oil down and makes it drain a little faster. But it also, uh, is, you know, oil is like a detergent. And the residue that's on the side walls, uh, when you get the oil hot and get it circulating, it'll pull that residue off the walls of the engine and it'll encapsulate it in the oil. So then when you drain it, you'll get more of the crud that's inside your engine out. So that's the reason for doing a, a warm up and get a little heat. So anyway, I've already got to do that. You can see this is pretty cool. You just loosen this up. They've already got a hole in the bottom of the frame so the oil just drains right down into the pan. So I've already got that, that done and that's almost finished draining. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop off the oil filter and that one's right here so we'll do that next now guys this is pretty easy if you've got an oil filter wrench uh, been a year or so since I finally got one I've done this so much the hard way and I cannot tell you this is some of the best money you'll ever spend if you do your own oil changes and let me see if I can get the camera up in here so you can see and so anyway you just uh, come up in and come down on this and this should not be I mean this is not gonna be much more than finger tight Okay guys, you got wonderful support at your John Deere dealerships. Just go by. You can have the type and you can even include your serial number. Uh, just tell them what you've got. They'll look it up and they'll tell you what you need and how much. Mine takes when you do the oil filter. It'll take two full quarts and uh, the filter. I just stopped by the John Deere dealership and picked this stuff up. And so this is what I'll use and we're ready to rock and roll for. One of the things you want to do is just double check and make sure the filter you've got coming off it's matching the same one you got going on. And uh, it's funny, uh, I'm also gonna do an oil change on my dad's unit that's smaller than this one. His oil filter is bigger than this one. I thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, you wanna do the old trick. This has got an O-ring on top of it. So you stick your finger down in the old oil and you just get you uh, an oil. This guarantees that you get a good seal. And it also gives it a little bit of lubrication. So when you are spinning it on up against the block, it doesn't make the um, O-ring buckle uh, it, it allow it to slide as you're going on so I'm gonna do one quick more wipe down under here and then we're gonna spin the, the new filter on and then now we're ready to shut off our drain valve which is just screwing that screw back in okay guys I'm not gonna try to be a hero and aim this thing I'm just gonna go grab a funnel because I know I need to get one <laughs> so anyway for me I know from experience when I do the oil filter I need two full quarts so I'm, I know now from doing this quite a few times, I don't even need to measure. I just need to go ahead and put in, put in the two full quarts. Hey guys, while I'm finished putting the oil in, just love to do a shout out and say, appreciate so much you guys watching the channel. And if you will, I would really appreciate hitting that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit the notifier. And that way you'll be sure not to miss any upcoming videos that'll be coming out. Okay guys, once you get all your oil put back in, you've got all your uh, filters tightened down, your oil uh, drain all tightened down, your oil in. You wanna make sure you give it a quick run. I've started up at low idle and uh, let the oil work into the filter before you do a check to see if your levels are correct. Obviously, once you've completed this and let it run, you wanna come and do a check real quick. We are right up to the full mark. All right, oil change is done, turn key now. We're ready to move on to the main thing I wanted to show you guys today. Um, I'm going to replace the hydrostatic fluid and the two filters. One filter is in each drive. Each wheel has its own pump and its own hydrostatic drive system. And so uh, we wanna do the filters in both of those. Those are underneath and in the back. I'll show those to you as best as I can coming up. First thing you wanna do uh, so you can get access to see better is to raise the seat up. 
This has a latch in the back. Tilt it forward. And if you look down in here, you will see this is the container for the hydrostatic fluid. And it should be almost all the way to the top, and it is. So um, we take the top off and vent that. Okay, so to do this, we're going to go underneath. There. And we're going to push this up as far as we can. There we go. And I hope you guys can see this. So the filter is located inside this black cover. And we're going to use a ratchet uh, to pop these loose, screw it out. We'll pull the filter and then all of the fluid will start draining down. With There's one here and then there's one over here. Okay, there was nothing to pop this loose and now I'm just screwing it out. Nice and easy. And here comes the fluid. And I'm just going to let that drain. Here comes the filter. Boy, my fluid was dirty. I definitely needed to do this. All right, so here is the uh, new filter. And obviously, see the difference? <laughs> I, uh, I should kick myself. Uh, should have never let this go as long as it did. And then it also comes with an O-ring, and this goes in the cap. So I took the old O-ring off, and the new O-ring goes in. Just like so, all the way up to the top. Okay. And when you put the filter in, the spring points out to you, and the spring goes in. I don't know if you can see this little tip, but it goes right into that to hold the tension down. All right, so that is just, most of that is drained out. So we are going to put this all, it goes in in seats, and then, This started. Ah, uh, I had to do that. Let's try this again. There we go. snug it up like I said it was not real tight okay once again you go to your John Deere dealership to the service parts desk tell them what you've got they can look up your system and they can take exactly what you need material wise to do the job that you're fixing to do pour this all the way in and remember it's got to fill the container and it's got to go down and fill both transmissions probably would not hurt to stop about halfway and just take a peek underneath and make sure you're not losing any fluid we're going to want the fluid and the final measurement to come all the way up to where it's right up here to the edge of this. Now I've got it there now, but I've got to do something. Uh, I've got to crank it and I've got to go run it. Just a short run to work the hydraulic fluid in, come back and then we'll check it again. Well hey guys, when I come back in it just needed just a little bit more fluid, topped it off and everything is running great. I'm so glad to get that part of the project done on this because it was so way overdue. And uh, guys, you know here Project Next, there's always one more. So guys, hang on and we'll be getting another one going real soon. See you guys in the next one, thanks.